Hey guys, this is Hacker Yacker. I'm going to be showing you how to use USB Advanced to play PlayStation 2 games off of your hard drive. Now I suggest you use a hard drive with a separate power supply, not a thumb drive or a flash drive. So, uh, game times uh, will take too long to load and movies will be impossible to watch. So uh, first off, I'm going to show you how to format, install the games, and play the games. I'm going to show you uh, some of the games in action and how they play. I'm going to teach you how to patch some of the games. Some games don't just work by installing them. Some of the games actually require a patch, but thankfully we have a nice tool called USB Utility 2.0 that actually makes it very simple. So we're going to switch over to the computer cam and uh, I'm going to directly show you how to start doing this now. Hey y'all, it's Hacker Yacker. I'm showing you how to set up USB Extreme. First open up the program and if you have not set up the file system on your hard drive first open it go to disk format remember your drive letter click format and pick it from the list whenever you pick it click OK and give it some time to format this will remove everything from your hard drive but it is necessary for you to install the games now after that's finished we'll go to the next step to where we actually install the game onto your hard drive here I have two files this is a game ISO you'll have to find that on your own here is the zip I have provided for you. First open that and then I want you to first open USB Extreme and this is what you'll see. Now I have my hard drive plugged in and I know the drive letter is G. As you can see I already have games installed on here. Okay now get that out of my way for a second. What I'm gonna do here with Dragon Ball Z this is my game file, my ISO file. I'll right click on it, go to Power ISO, and Mount. I'm amount to Drive I. If you don't have this option, go to Set Number of Drives to One Drive, and then go back and go to Mount to Drive. Note the letter is I. All right, now that it's mounted, I come over here and I'm going to change this to I. And I know that this is a DVD game, so I'm going to change this to DVD. So it's going from the virtual drive I DVD to my hard drive G and we insert the name of the game Dragon Ball Z Infinite World <coughs> and we click start start install yes now this can take quite some time I'm not gonna bother you with the whole process of taking it so we'll come back Okay, as you can see, whenever it's finished, the bar is 100%, it will say OK. Click the OK, and you can actually go in here, and at the very bottom, it has my game listed. It doesn't do it in alphabetical order for some reason, but it has it listed right there. Now you can actually close that. And the next thing you'll want to do is uh, unplug your hard drive, of course, and you'll launch the game on your PlayStation. But, uh, there's one more trick to this uh, Dragon Ball Z you can't just plug and play like I did I, it requires a special IOR PRP patch so I'm gonna also show you how to do that okay of course you're also gonna need to um, burn the file the USB advanced disk file here you have see the bin in the queue I already have it extracted to my desktop use whatever program you have to burn You know, USB Advanced, it only has three files in it. And you click burn, burn at max speed. It shouldn't take very long. It's also a CD. So if you're using Swap Magic, use the CD, not the DVD. And that's, that's all there is to that. That'll burn your disc. Okay, so I have tried using USB Utility and it did not work for me. So I'm going to show you the way that I fix my games Dragon Ball Z Infinite World. Okay, uh. I already have it set up to open up in Power ISO, so just open it in Power ISO. Okay, here you see this. Under modules, you'll see there's an image. IORPRP310. Now what you want to do is replace that with another one. Now, if I move this out of my way and I open up my zip file, I provided you with a generator. See this? Generator. Put both of these the data image and the generator on the desktop. Now double click the generator. Now whatever the number is that's what you want to make it. 
is 310 IOPRP 310 let's go back and look 310 so right here put in 310 and click right here it's gonna ask you where you want to save it I'm gonna say the desktop okay and there it is behind it now open this <clears throat> and have it in the window to you not full screen and just actually click and drag it in here in the window and it's going to ask you, you want to override it yes we want to override it when you're done with that you want to make sure you click save yes you want to override it click yes now in order to do this you must have the full version of power iso otherwise it has to be 300 megabytes or less and since all games are usually two three four gigabytes you're going to need the full version to do it and after it finishes that you can install the game just as i showed you previously there's no need for me to sit here and wait Okay, we're gonna start up. I don't have a mod chip. I use the swap magic trick, so my swap magic disc loads up first. Note that I don't have anything plugged into my USB port. If you have something plugged in, it'll hang on a black screen, so I don't have it plugged in until after the disc has stopped spinning. Okay. Now, all I'm simply doing is switching this. This is the USB advanced disk I burnt. And boot. <coughs> now it's safe to plug in your USB. Give me just one second to plug that in. <coughs> doesn't matter which port one or two and in a couple seconds you'll see all my games and the last one installed Dragon Ball Infinite World and don't get upset if it takes 10 to 15 seconds for it to load it might take a little while red dot on the remote usually means you're going to be okay notice it's working and if you didn't do the IOPRP patch the way I showed you that you're probably still hanging on a black screen and will forever unless you do it like I told See, loading times take a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have the Japanese version. Uh, yeah, Japan Circle. <laughs> nice you see the refresh rate scrolling through my TV. That concludes the tutorial for now and uh, also if you check under my description I have included a zip file with the tutorial, the screenshots and also most importantly it has a compatibility list so you don't have to waste your time trying to get a game file and then find out that it doesn't work. There's two lists actually. One of the games you can just install, the other ones you're going to have to do the IOPRP patch file. Uh, I'll update the list as I can as I test more games, but uh, if you find one, feel free to email me and tell me the exact uh, what you had to do to get the game running. There are also some other games that require special fixes like Kingdom Hearts 2. You have to skip the Gummy Bears spaceship or uh, ship file. Uh, there's a patch that skips the whole scene for that, but uh, I'm not going to get into that until maybe later. But thanks for listening, and uh, leave comments and feedback. Uh, questions, just post a question, and I'll be glad to answer it.